Hey folks, David Tao with Barband.com. Big news out of the CrossFit space, five-time CrossFit Games champion and seven-time CrossFit Games podium finisher, probably the greatest to ever do it. Matt Fraser has announced his retirement from competitive CrossFit. We're going to get into some of the details there that he announced on social media. But first, if you want the full story, including more information as it comes out, make sure to Google Barband plus Matt Fraser or Barbend plus Matt Fraser retirement. We're going to keep you up to date on Barbend with everything around this announcement. Okay, Matt Fraser burst onto the competitive CrossFit scene in 2013 with his first ever regionals appearance. He was actually a high level weightlifter, competed at the international level as a junior for Team USA and trained at a very high level in weightlifting for a number of years. After a back injury and surgery, as he was rehabbing and getting back to weights, he started working out in a CrossFit at gym in his native Vermont and well the rest is history I was actually lucky enough to cover Matt at his first ever regionals back in 2013 and he was back then basically a self-described former weightlifter now he did not qualify for the CrossFit Games in 2013 but he did really well at regionals after just a few months of CrossFit training 2014 came around and boom he came out like lightning in that season and finished runner-up at the 2014 CrossFit Games to Rich Froning, who that year won his fourth consecutive CrossFit Games title. Fraser also finished second to Ben Smith this time in 2015, but 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, that was the true era of Fraser dominance. And he seemed to get better and better every year as his margins of victory grew. But on February 2nd, 2021, Fraser decided to hang it up, or at least to announce that he was hanging it up as a competitive CrossFit athlete. In a social media post, he wrote, and I read verbatim, like so many others that have wandered into a CrossFit gym, I wasn't expecting to find my best friends, business partners, wife, countless life lessons, and five gold medals. Today, I leave the sport older, wiser, fitter, and grateful. I'm diving into the next chapter of my life with the same HWPO, that's short for hard work pays off, mentality. From now on, decisions I make won't be solely based off how they affect my performance, but how they affect my family, friends, health, and happiness. I look forward to remaining a part of the CrossFit community. I just won't be doing it from the competition floor any longer. HWPO, or as he's made famous, hard work pays off. There's no word immediately on what Fraser plans to do with his time. He has a number of entrepreneurial endeavors. He's been very public on social media about building a new house and actually moving away from Cookville, Tennessee, where he had resided for the last few years, training with fellow multi-time CrossFit Games champion, Tia Claire Toomey. Worth noting, Tia Claire Toomey is currently in South Korea, training to become part of the Australian national bobsled team. So the two reigning CrossFit Games champions it's a little was a little bit up in the air as far as what they would do for the 2021 season. And at least on the men's side, we know Fraser will not be part of this year's competitive field. Now, this seems a little bit like more of a surprise than when Rich Froning retired after the 2014 CrossFit Games, retired from individual competition. It's worth noting Froning has had a massively successful career as a CrossFit Games team athlete. Froning gave some word ahead of time that he would be hanging up the towel as an individual. Fraser, it was a little bit up in the air. No one really knew what he would be doing after this season. He clearly took some time off, enjoying himself, enjoying time with family and friends. And it looks like he will not be ramping up training uh, as one might expect him to do this time of year leading into the Open. We'll be very curious to see how he stays involved in the fitness community, maybe even outside of CrossFit. Matt Fraser is still a very young competitor. He's in his early 30s, and the sky is the limit for what he could do as far as the fitness industry. So we're really excited to see that. For Barbend.com, I'm David Tao. Thanks for tuning in.